Assalamu alaikum, I am Ahmed Ali Nekwi and you are watching Current Affairs, A Fortnightly Glance with Ahmed Ali Nekwi. In today's episode, we will talk about an important development in today's episode. As you know, the United Nations Security Council had a resolution presented by the UAE and in that resolution, the basic point was two points. One was a ceasefire and one was a hostage release. This ceasefire was vetoed by the United Nations Security Council. The United States strongly supports a durable peace between the United States and the United States. The United States strongly supports a durable United States strongly supports a durable peace in which both Israelis and Palestinians can live in peace and security. We do not support calls for an immediate ceasefire. 13 states voted for it and a UK abstained and obviously the Americans have vetoed it and that decision was not taken. This veto has started a debate in the world, there are a lot of discussions, there are a lot of statements. We will talk about this in today's episode of what is its context and what are its possible implications. If I talk about global politics, if I talk about the UN, or if I talk about the Palestinian conflict or Gaza conflict, then what can be repercussions? Kunadin, as I have already told you, this veto that was actually on the UN Security Council Resolution presented by the United Arab Emirates. And the basic point was that because there is a Gaza conflict, we have seen that there are a lot of casualties. There is a humanitarian disaster, a very significant disaster, unprecedented at least in the 20th century and the 21st century. And there are many evidences that there is a lot of disaster. The most recent example is that it comes from Israel. جب ازرائیل کا جو اخبار ہے ہارٹس وہ ایک ریپورٹ پبلش کرتا ہے جس کے اندر وہ بتاتے ہیں کہ اس غزہ وار میں جو سویلن کیولٹی کا ریٹ ہے that is 61 پرسنٹ it is the highest کیولٹی ریٹ that has been witnessed in the 20th century wars and even the 21st century wars even from ازرائیل سٹینڈرز اگر میں بات کروں تو اس میں بھی جو ازرائیلی جو ریپورٹس تھیں they have stated that around 40 پرسنٹ سویلنز have been killed in the previous operation that was the maximum rate but in the Israeli standard maybe this is the highest standard that we have seen unprecedented casualties are obviously in response to that war and after that we see that Palestinians are being expelled we have seen a statement that the United Nations are many officials they have said that they have not said officially but the ultimate policy of Israel is to completely expel Palestinians from the Gaza Strip and ultimately you know we have talked about the Al-Nakba 2 that we want to expel them from the Gaza Strip تو اس ڈیزاسٹر کو رکھنے کے لیے اس ہیون جو سیویلین کیولٹیز ہیں ان کو رکھنے کے لیے اس وار کے اندر it was felt necessary by international community کہ وہ ایک سیز فائر کی طرف جائی جائے یو این سیکیورٹی کانسل شوڈ you know convince Israel to go for سیز فائر بہت سی سٹیٹس ان ڈریلی کہہ چکی ہیں مسلم ورلڈ کہہ چکی ہے سٹیٹس کہہ چکی ہیں لیکن Israel is unwilling to go for a سیز فائر تو یو این سیکیورٹی کانسل شوڈ also play its role in ensuring the سیز فائر because it is not just a you know kind of catastrophe in, in Palestine, it's a global catastrophe. Unprecedented, as I said, that it's in history. So the UN Security Council, which was the first time you were going to go to the closed door meetings, which was not a major agreement. Initially, when this conflict started, it was a mass attack. At that time, the UN Security Council was the first time that Hamas was condemned. Then, we said that it was talked about PAS, strategic PAS, humanitarian PAS. But that also resolutions were not, no resolutions could not be developed, no consensus could not be developed. Now, because the human toll has been significantly increased, there are voices across the board, in the world, including in America, that there should be a kind of ceasefire. But we have seen that not every state agrees to it. Israel opposes the ceasefire. Israel's argument is that there will not be a ceasefire. And until the stated objectives will not be achieved, that is the elimination of Hamas. But how and what will be the criteria to know that Hamas is eliminated or not, and this is again a very very vague kind of criteria or just a minute kagi UN ka yibi UN ka official ka stance hai that Israel ka ek motive joh officially nahi maanthi but hai that is to expel the Palestinians all the Palestinians from their land in Gaza to isi context mein is sare apprehensions ko rokne ke liye ye resolution present ki gai UN security question mein that if UN asks for a ceasefire then Israel will be obligated to go for a ceasefire and states will be obligated to pressure Israel to go for a ceasefire and in this way we can stop the catastrophe, the humanitarian catastrophe hai. but the resolution ka part to ceasefire hai, uska jo second part hai, that is the unconditional release of the hostages because Israel ke mashiach se demand rahi hai ke jo hostages hain they are one of the reasons why Israel is in a war with the Hamas or they want an unconditional release humne dekha ke jab pause hua tha to uske dauran prison exchange hua tha, prison swap hua tha lekin uske baad se Hamas jo hai that has stopped the release of hostages 
और उस हॉस्टेज रिलीज जो है दैट इज़ अगेन सिविलियन हॉस्टेजेज हैं और कुछ मिलिट्री के भी हैं उनकी रिलीज की बात की गई इस सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल रेजोल्यूशन में फ्राम द स्टार्ट ऑफ दिस रेजोल्यूशन इट वॉज बिलीव कि मोस्टली स्टेट एग्री करेंगी देवर एप्रीहेंशन अबाउट द यू एस पॉलिसी आल दो बाइडन की जो पॉलिसी है दैट जो बाइडन की जो एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन है दैट इज मोर सपोर्टिव टू इसराइल दैन द कांग्रेस उस कॉन्टेक्स में देखा कि जो कांग्रेस है इट हैज़ नॉट बीन अप्रूविंग द मिलिट्री एड पैकेज टू इसराइल और यूक्रेन फॉर दैट मैटर इन दिस बजट हमने कहा कि वो रिजेक्ट हुआ रिपब्लिकन्स के अंदर और उसी कॉन्टेक्स में हम देखेंगे इसराइल की तरफ से जो डिमांड है वो इंक्रीज की जा रही है फॉर मोर एंड मोर मिलिट्री सपोर्ट एंड एड फ्रॉम द यू एस तो कांग्रेस इज रिलेक्टेंट विच शो दैट इज अ बाई पार्टिजन डिवाइड ऑन द इशू ऑफ काइंड ऑफ इसराइल सपोर्ट टू इसराइल लेकिन वो बहुत सिग्निफिकेंट डिवीजन तो नहीं है लेकिन डिवीजन हैं और विच इज़ रिफ्लेक्टेड इन द रिजेक्शन ऑफ द बिल तो लेकिन यू एस की जो एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन है ऑब्वियसली यू एन के अंदर जो यू एस की जो प्रेजिडेंशियल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन होती है वो रिप्रेजेंट करती है यू एस की पॉलिसी को तो वहाँ पर इट वॉज एक्सपेक्टेड दैट यू एस यू एस माइट री टू इट एंड दिस अप्रीहेंशन डिस्पाइट द फैक्ट की इस रिजेशन की ड्राफ्टिंग में यू एस वॉज कंसल्टेड देवर कंसल्टेशन बाई अरब स्टेट्स विद यू एस ब्लिंकन साहब ने विजिट किया था यू ए का लेकिन डिस्पाइट दैट जब रिजेशन प्रजेंट हुई जिसमें हॉस्टेज की रिलीज जो इसराइली डिमांड थी यू एस डिमांड थी उसको भी एड किया गया साथ सीज फायर की बात की गई बट यू एस वीटो डेट ऑन द प्रिटेक्स दैट टाइम इज़ नॉट राइट फॉर द सीज फायर सो इस सीज फायर के अंदर में हमने देखा कि बहुत सिग्निफिकेंट रिएक्शन आए इसराइली प्राइम मिनिस्टर ने बाकायदा वीडियो प्रोग्राम जारी वीडियो पैगाम जारी किया जिसमें उन्होंने थी थैंक द यूनाइटेड स्टेट फॉर द सपोर्ट एंड ही वोट दैट ही दिस वॉर वुड कंटिन्यू अनटिल द हॉस्टेज आर रिलीज एंड हम मास इज एलिमिनेटेड और उस वक्त तक कोई सीज फायर नहीं होगा लेकिन हमने देखा कि ब्रॉडली इंटरनेशनल कम्युनिटी के अंदर हमने यूएस की आइसोलेशन देखी मोस्ट ऑफ द कीनो इंटरनेशनल कम्युनिटी पर्टिकुलरली द मुस्लिम वर्ल्ड जो है वो उन्होंने इस चीज़ को नापसंदगी का इजहार किया दे हैव वॉइस कंसर्न सम ऑफ देम हैव इन कंडेम्ड द यू एस वीडो और उसमें से सबसे सिग्निफिकेंट स्टेटमेंट में से एक जो स्टेटमेंट आती है दैट कम्स फ्राम द टर्की एंड द पेलस्टीनियंस पी के जो लीडर हैं महमूद अब्बास साहब उन्होंने कहा दैट जो जो जीनोसाइड हो रहा है पेलस्टीनियंस का नाउ अमेरिका इज पार्ट ऑफ इट obviously for many uh, scholars for many uh, you know human right activists america was already part of this genocide because it provided weapons to israel that they used against the palestinians lekin by vetoing the ceasefire it means that israel has been given the license to continue to massacre jo israelis khud kehte hain ki 60% se zyada uh, civilian casualty rate hai asana samay america does not want to stop it american policy is that we have been consistently pressing israel to make sure that civilian casualties are minimized or israelis kehte hain that their uh, pressure has been working uh, to a greater extent on israel as well but imagine kare nazreen agar ye pressure ke baad bhi 61% casualty rate hai as per the israelis to imagine kar sakte hain ki agar wo pressure na ho to kitna bada impact aayega dusra bada reaction jo aaya samne wo aaya tha turkey ki taraf se turkish president atev erdogan jo the unhone ek broad uh, ek structural challenge kiya us video ko america ne Red oyla maalesef malum ateşkes reddedildi. Tek başına. Onun ka ki US ka jo veto hai ye US ki kasam to unhone kam kiya lekin unhone ka kya ye jo 13 states hain but in fact 14 states UK remain absent uh, abstained from this voting. 13 states jo hain wo kar rahi hain most of the UN general assembly is calling for ceasefire but one state US is blocking that move. Asal asal mein unka argument tha Is it justice कि एक state international peace को होने से रोक दे Is it justice? Does it not show us that UN Security Council is no longer a viable institution? It's no longer a viable organization? क्या इसके structural reforms नहीं होनी चाहिए तो broadly debate नाजी चूँकि UN Security Council कौंसिल के अंदर रिफॉर्म की डिबेट इसके एजेंडा पर है पिछले कई सालों से तो दिस यू एस वीटो हैज़ अगेन हाईलाइटेड द पैरल्स ऑफ स्टेट्स वीटो यही वीटो का पैरल जो है वो हाईलाइट किए गए बाई यू एस When Russia vetoed the resolutions on the Ukraine issue, but अब इसराइल के ऊपर जो यू एस की वीटो है इस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम पर और ये कोई अनप्रेसिडेंट वीटो नहीं है यू एस हैज़ हिस्टोरिकली वीटोड यू एन रेजोल्यूशन इन फेवर ऑफ इसराइल बट इस किस्म का मैसेकर पहले कभी हुआ नहीं इस किस्म के मैसेकर में यू एस का एटलीस्ट एबस्टेन होना दैट वुड हैव मेड सम सेंस बट वीटो करना दैट क्लियरली शो दैट यू एस हैज़ अ ब्लाइंड सपोर्ट टू इसराइल एंड दिस ब्लाइंड सपोर्ट इज लाइकली टू फर्दर क्रिएट ग्लोबल पोलराइजेशन पोलराइजेशन विद इन द यू एन एंड दिस इज लाइकली टू क्रिएट मोर काइंड ऑफ यू नो डिमांड्स मोर डिमांड फॉर रिफॉर्म्स विद इन द यू एन सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल पर्टिकुलरली विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वीटो एंड दैट ऑल्सो इंडिकेट्स पाकिस्तान पोजिशन दैट बाई एडिंग मोर वीटो लाइक इंडिया लाइक जापान और मैनी अदर स्टेट्स 
adding veto in the UN Security Council reforms will only further complicate the working of the UN Security Council. So instead of adding more veto powers, there must be non-veto members and there must be a broad-based parity within the world for giving membership in the Security Council. So in this context, if we talk about it is likely to trigger this veto. It will trigger into the debates of the UN reforms in the future as well. Last but not least, Nazreen, this veto is the most victim hai, that is the Palestinian people. They are likely to continue to be massacred by one of the world's most advanced militaries with the backing of one of the world's, world's most advanced powers. And the whole world, including the UN, will continue to see that. And this has been confessed by the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, who has clearly stated that we accept the failure of the United Nations in preventing the loss of civilian lives uh, in Palestine. This is very unprecedented that UN, UN Secretary General officially would give such kind of statements, but obviously he has no other power except to give statements like many other states, including Pakistan. Let's hope, Nazreen, that the United, Nations, United States and the public opinion in the United States reacts to that, and let's hope that they elect a government that is more favorable to the human rights, but unfortunately in the US, there are powers, there are two kinds of parties that come to power, Republicans and Democrats, and if we do not have Democrats, if the Republicans come to power, the Republican policy has historically been more closer to Israel than Democrats. And obviously, no president is more closer to Israel than Donald Trump himself. Thank you so much, Nazreen, for watching this program. And now you can see a list of vocabulary on your screens as well as one-liner. Thank you so much for watching this program. Allah Hafiz.